And new this morning, we're in the middle of storm season, right? And we have a flood watch today, in fact. Not on your side's Palosuro. Gives us some tips on how you can protect yourself and your most valuable items from a possible flood. It's the calm before the storm. That's when you need to make your home as flood proof as possible. Even if your home may not have a history of flooding, if there is an extensive amount of rainfall, you could potentially be at risk. 90% of all natural disasters involve flooding. It's the most frequent and costly natural disaster in the U.S. Elevating your appliances like your washer and dryer, if those are housed downstairs, as well as your water heater and potentially your furnace. And most homeowner insurances don't cover flood damage, but the National Flood Insurance Program has steps you can take to get some help. If you go to floodsmart.gov, you can type in your address, you can know your flood risk, learn of any agents in the area that can help you out and potentially get you covered. And you can protect yourself by making one of these emergency kits. I knew the power was out. I knew I could go right to my kit and I had everything I needed. You want to have three days worth of material in the kit. You want to have a gallon of water per family member per day and non perishable foods. A weather radio comes in handy as well. With so many people, it might take some time to get extra help into the area. Now they recommend you update your kit every six months around the same time you're changing your smoke detector batteries. Paolo Suro 9 on your side.